All right, everyone, now it's time to talk about Jeff Bezos having a little bit of a dust up with Joe Biden, giving a titty baby Biden a spanking, which he really needs because he pooped his pants again, like he does literally two or three times a day, I'm sure. It's a lot of bran muffins, can't put on his own uh, socks, so how is he wiping his own butt? I think his wife has to do it for him. Imagine she's not there. Imagine being the Secret Service agent on burrito night. <laughs> That'd be cool. You, know, you better get a raise. Yeah, you better get a raise or send in an anonymous, an anonymous tip to a Politico or something. Uh, anyway, Biden the other day did another pivot with regards to gas prices. By the way, happy 4th of July. I'm sure there's less on your barbecue grill than last year when you saved 16 cents because of Biden. It's funny, last year Biden was completely in control and micromanaging every aspect of the U.S. economy. Now it's everybody else who's doing that. Putin, Trump, despite not being in office for a year and a half, um, uh, oil companies, and now most lately, gas stations. And so Biden deciding to blame gas stations, which tend to be small and regional business chains, you know, I mean, like Maplefields <clears throat> up in Vermont or something. They're not mega corporations. They don't operate on both sides of the Atlantic or Pacific or something. Trying to blame regional businesses that have more local ties for your problems, because you know Biden is the one that attacked the energy sector in multiple ways. Biden's the one who massively inflated the economy with funny money spending. Biden's the one who inspires zero investment confidence, and therefore things aren't growing, and in fact they're receding at the moment. Biden is responsible, by and large, for the current economic mess. Even the lockdown damage is partially his uh, to be blamed for, because he encouraged extended lockdownerism. The opposite of what Trump did, and I will always point this out because otherwise, Trump derangement syndrome people will come in and claim, without any evidence at all, that Trump was a major champion of those things. No, he wasn't, but Biden was, both as a candidate and in his first year. I wonder why the damage was so severe in blue states that listened to him. A link in the description, archived of course, we'll hear Bezos in his own words. Jeff Bezos responding to POTUS, uh, talking about the gas stations that are setting the price at the pump and they're gouging people. It's their fault that gas is 480 a gallon. Clearly they have gouged people out of literally more than half of the value of the gasoline they're paying for. Biden had nothing to do with it. The man who said he wanted to fundamentally overhaul the entire U.S. economy is apparently impotent to do jack shit with regards to pricing. It's all gas stations now. It's not even the oil companies. Here's Bezos' response. Ouch. Inflation is far too important a problem for the White House to keep making statements like this. It's either straight-ahead misdirection or a deep misunderstanding of basic market dynamics. Why is it important when Bezos and uh, Biden get into it? Because Bezos is a mega-donor for the liberals. He is a Democratic mega-donor. He's one of their biggest donors. Um, if he has soured on Biden, that, uh, that uh, gives the signal to some of the people that he owns, who's probably several members of Congress, I'm sure numerous state house members in California and a few other places, uh, it signals that it's okay to throw Biden under the bus. People are saying, and I don't fully agree with this, that this is basically the death of a 24 campaign by Joe Biden. Well, without Bezos on board, how can he really make it? I've seen their fucking news articles insinuating that. The answer is yes, it's just one damn mega donor. And to be clear, Bezos is partially doing this just to weigh in on a hot topic in order to grandstand and get attention for Amazon, for his own pet projects, whatever the hell he happens to want to do tomorrow. Now, when you've got that kind of money and clout, you can go anywhere in the world and buy anything that you want and... You know, he could start up a, a restaurant franchise in New Delhi tomorrow if he wants to, just for shits and giggles, and he could probably make it work because he's got deep pockets. Um, it is significant, but it doesn't take off the table the possibility of Biden actually being crazy enough to run in 2024. I think that the bigger bellwether isn't going to be Jeff Bezos is mad at Joe Biden for saying this. Because I think he's mad at him mainly. Not, I don't think he's mad at Biden because he feels incensed or something. I think that he's mad because he's pumped all of these hundreds of millions of dollars into political causes. And now Biden is managing to undermine their credibility. His approval and his optics are so poor that he's dragging down all the people that Bezos wants to be in office. In order to safeguard his, his uh, monopoly. The streaming services on-demand publishing, which by the way I use, I have no problem with Amazon. I found it very funny and a good idea when they said that workplace diversity would prevent unionization. When that leaked uh, off of their uh, list there at Amazon, 
Well, yeah, there are worse arguments you could make for workplace diversity, I suppose. Um, but uh, here's the thing. I think that Bezos looks at it as, hey, Joe Biden's so incompetent, and he's so poor at explaining himself, and you know it's a White House intern that makes the tweets, but Biden, you know, basically dictates the general idea of them, which is why they're incoherent most of the time. Uh, Bezos is looking at it as an investment loss. Of course he is. He's a multi-billionaire. Uh, what else? You think that he gives a shit about uh, uh, political ideology at large? No, as long as he can make money from it, he doesn't care. He would uh, vote for Republicans, Democrats, whatever. Elon Musk has switched to the Republicans. That's because, of course, the neocons uh, still want him to maintain monopolistic capabilities. Uh, it's funny to watch Biden get spanked, though. I would also point out in Bezos' defense, uh, Jeff Bezos has actually created jobs. Joe Biden has not. Uh, the so-called recovery in the magical economy, yeah, we're basically back to where we were several years ago because the lockdowns mostly ended. Thanks, Joe. You, you had a real instrumental hand in this. No, you didn't. Uh, Bezos has actually, you know, caused people to make income, myself included. Again, with the publishing on demand thing. I sell thousands of books every single month, and Amazon makes that possible. None of the other publishing on demand services that are available to someone who's working online uh, measure up, not even close. They don't have the distribution network, and even if they did, you have to buy your own copies and handle logistics in some cases yourself. I don't have time to sit there all day and mail out a hundred books. <laughs> yeah, you, are you crazy? I'd have to hire someone to do it, then I wouldn't be making any money, so what would be the point? I think that's pretty good. Uh, I like watching Biden get curb stomped by people more intelligent than he is. Now, think what you want about Bezos. Oh my God, he's evil. He's destroyed all the small bookstores. Yeah, but he's uh, spanking Biden now, isn't he? So, uh, situationally useful, even if you have a problem with that. Yeah, it's uh, You love to see it because, uh, again, the messaging on gas prices has gotten worse and worse. First, it was, the don't worry about the gas prices. Everything's transitory. Inflation, eh, who cares about that? It'll be gone in a couple of months. When it became clear that wasn't the case, then they retroactively blamed Trump, pivoted to the gas companies. Then when Ukraine gets invaded, as I predicted they would do, they immediately blame Putin for the price hikes. And now they're blaming fucking gas stations. Who's next? <laughs> Are they going to blame my plant? Are they going to blame my cats or something? Sticks Hexenhammer is responsible for higher gas prices because he made a video 10 years ago that encouraged people to buy more gas or something like that. They'll, uh, they'll trot out anything to cover for Joe Biden. And it takes a lot to cover for him because the emperor quite literally wears no clothes at this point. That's about all. Peace out.